friendly neighborhood Steven is here trying to Google what to turn the cam torque specs to, I'm going to start putting all the valve... What would you call these things? Valve caps? That's what I was thinking. I was calling them that earlier. Valve caps back in. I do have them numbered. I don't think it really matters, but if they've already worn a certain way, I want to put them all back together. So we're just going to put them all back in while we're looking up the cam torque specs. I told him that the head goes to 36, and he didn't believe me. And then I showed him, and he said, well, damn. I guess she goes to 36. Plus the quarter turn and quarter turn. That doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem right. I, that's why I read it like four times. So I did take some pretty detailed videos and photos on my phone about what caps on the cam go where. But I told you guys that I noticed something different about this cam. And I'll tell you what it is. I'll show you on a a wrecked one before I show you on the one that I have because the wrecked one has a bad spring in it so it's easy to show you guys because it actually stays and I don't have to put a ton of force but let's just put the rest of these back in oh I seen that there's a post to get it's like oh my buddy says he'll do it cheaper please put it back together and the guy's putting red loctite all over the bolts <laughs> <laughs> so 14 foot pounds yeah 14 foot pounds for the cam now i don't know these numbers off the top of my head so we we're just googling this crap so if you guys have better numbers leave it down in the comments you should grease them before you put them on it says oh yeah they're getting greased with loctite perfect <laughs> Well, here is an old beat-up cam that I was going to turn into a trophy and give away. But, this is the perfect thing to show you the problem I have. When I took this apart, I put paint marker everywhere. In the video, you guys seen the paint mark everywhere. I actually marked both sides of the gear. And I thought to myself, it's kind of redundant marking both sides of the gear. But after seeing this, I'm happy I did. Because, if you, my paint marker marks are lining up. Because if you see this gear, ready? You see this gear? You see that break in it? Watch this. It's got a spring in it. It's got a spring in it. I maybe sat, stood over there for 30 minutes thinking, there's no way that I was that drunk that these lines don't match up. So, we're going to put this all back together. Not with this piece of crap cam, though. But we are going to put these all back together, and we're going to make sure the spring is preloaded. <coughs> because we got to put our paint marks together. So I'm super happy I marked both sides of this. Does that tell you what this spring thing does? No. Doesn't tell us what it does, but it just got to do something. Dominican. So, not exactly sure what's in here. But the first thing I'm going to check for is my Rock Auto collectible sticker. Oh, dude, Chinese Air? Chi don't, don't open the Chinese Air! <laughs> this one's not that interesting, man. What is it? It's like a 1930s car. Like, uh, it's sweet looking, but it ain't what I wanted. So that's kind of a letdown. Old caddy. Yeah. Is that a caddy? 
No, I don't think that's a caddy. I think that's a rolls or something. Look at the hood order. Order from it. What's that it say? Oh, that's Cadillac, yeah. <laughs> All right, Steven knows more than me. Let me get the collectible card out of this one. More Chinese there. Please do not. <laughs> oh my god, I'm... Oh my god, what the fuck did I order? <laughs> is, it, is that a tip for the water? No, those are spark plug wires. How many spark plug wire sets did I order? Oh my god. I know. Okay, so it looks like we only got one collectible card today. So that's a little bit of a letdown. But, in this one... Oh my god, dude. What did I order? I was in Dominican when I went. I'm just. You're fucking me up, man. Look at it. It's all. Like, there's nothing there. I can only see the country of origin. And, uh, it's concerning. Is it all from China? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Coronavirus camera press. So I. <laughs> so <it> stop <laughs> calling! I got a coil pack here. I know I ordered coil packs because I used my new ones on. And then this one here is a bigger box, but is this a coil pack too? What I'm after is I need that intake gasket to put this thing together. I don't think this is all the stuff I ordered. No. Maybe more. Timing belt and component kit, oil pump gasket, two that's, of them, so that's me. That should be in there. There's a coil pack, but they're two yeah. different sized boxes. So intake gonna... manifold get shipped from another warehouse. This is all the stuff that isn't in yet. Now they fit in one box. Why don't you just put them in one box? Why did they put them in two? Did you get two box? oil pumps? Yeah. Did I? Gaskets? Yeah. One for my car, one for your car. Oh, it looks like you got four oil pump gas mounting set. Spark plugs, copper tipped. Oh, that's even better. Now I got the performance spark plugs. Now I got, I think I got two sets for 92 to 97, so they have the 90 degrees on them, and I got two sets for. 97 to 01, so they're the straight tips. Yeah, I see that. So, ignition coil, ignition coil, spark plug, spark plug, spark plug. Wire set. How come two. I only got. You got two wire sets. Did they only give me four spark, three spark plugs? No, there's four of them in there. Did I got what? So, you got four spark plugs from Autolite, two spark plug wire sets, precision timing components. Timing belt! That's the timing belt and component kit. That's a nice box. I'm oh, gonna use that's... that on this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Paperwork. Nice box. Paperwork. Oh my god. Look what I found! Oh, that's not in Oh, the gaskets are from Japan. Not returnable seal. There's our oil pump seal. Brackets or gaskets or whatever. Well, I can tell you what you got now. Oh, there's another collectible card. Well, this one's a sad. What a sad day for Sab. Ah. So we did get two collectible cards. So they'll be going on the fridge. But we definitely didn't get my intake seal. It's saying it's in here. It's definitely not in here. There's only these ones. So we can't put the intake on this yet, and I don't want to put the old one on. Ah. Probably not a good idea. Ah! But we did get two collectible cards. So without the intake seal coming in, I can't put the intake on. I can't put the valve cover on because then it's going to be hard to plug in all the injectors. Um, all that fun stuff. I don't want to put the backing plate on that goes on this because I'd rather have it look scary with the timing gear sticking out like Tokyo Drift kind of thing. Gears everywhere. Drift. Drag race. Drag racing gears. And uh, so what we can do is Surprise. the only other thing that we have that we can do is we can put the timing gears on. Now a lot of you guys are going to ask why there's so much silicone. It's because there was a leak. But now there's no leak because it's siliconed. So we got the crank sensor in there. You guys, crank sensor goes on by this little pin and then gets a 10 mil bolt to hold it on. Your cam sensor's up here. Again, the little pin, 10 mil bolt. So those things are easy to change. If you guys need to change them, go for it. 